Hi folks, it's Dragon part 3 of the uh, Cotton Ball Straw series. Uh, this is the second take. We had a problem with the camera before. So what we'll do is uh, I'll use uh, one of the uh, Cotton Ball straws I made yesterday, uh, seeing as we used the one we made today in the first take. That's the one I uh, made yesterday. Very quite, quite easy to use. Remember I said waterproof. Bend it, throw it around the paddock, great stuff. Alright, we'll just come over here. Now, the way that you, to use these is just to nip the top off the top. Remember, I said when we're making it, leave some of the cotton free of Vaseline. That's the end you pull out the air, just flare it out, like that. And we'll just hit it with a blast match or any other lighting uh, tool you've got, flint, steel, whatever. What also helps in the combustion process of this, of course, is the burning plastic. So we just get that a, to get a bit of a go up, move along. And once the heat hits the Vaseline, it starts to liquidise it, forming an oil, and Vaseline having a high ignition point. Um, the cotton helps it to ignite. bit windy out here today. Yeah, these gum leaves are still a bit damp from the night dew. Now this is the start of getting your fire going. There we go. You just put more kindling on as it goes. Now this, uh, the one I tried a couple of days ago, burnt for about three minutes. As I said, you can put more cotton balls into the straw. Just use one or two. It's up to you. There we go. It's that simple, folks. There are lots of ways of uh, starting fires out there. I find I haven't really done any field testing on this, but I think for me personally, this is a much better way uh, to keep the stuff dry in all sorts of weather. So there you go. Thank you.